Welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. Let's go straight to our research team to help us with the list of top 10 stocks as we begin the day. First up, Vivek is joining in. He has a couple of interesting stocks. There's medicines, there's wine, there's a lot of things that he's talking about this morning. Uh, Vivek, over to you. Well, good morning. You know, like you mentioned, a lot of blocks on the, you know, many companies and a lot of P exists and this particular trend continues. Uh, we had access to two term sheets uh, today morning. So first on our list, Sula Vindyad, you know, according to the term sheet, what we understand is that Foral Invest Asia PT is looking to sell up to 12.6% stake in the company. The total size of the block is close to 540 crore and the price range for this particular block is between 473 to 508 rupees a share. Or there's a further lockup of 60 days as far as the further sale of shares is considered. Remember, at the end of the June quarter, this particular entity, Foral Invest, held close to 18.6% stake in the company. Second on our radar is MedPlus Health Services, uh, Lavender Rose Investment, as well as PI Opportunities Fund, that's Prem J Invest Opportunities Fund, uh, together are looking to sell close to 8.1% stake in the company. The total size of the block would be in excess of 820 crore, and the base price for this particular block is close to 860 rupees a share. Remember, at the end of the June quarter, PI Opportunities Fund held over 14% stake, and Lavender Rose held over 17% stake. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, well, uh, thanks very much, Vivek, uh, for that. Uh, so uh, that's uh, a list of stocks to watch out for. Uh, important blocks. I mean, they're continuing to flow in, and Sula is going to be the big, big one today. Well, Dish TV and uh, what's happening there. Ritu is here with more details. Ritu, morning. Good morning, Prashant. Uh, well, you know, the SL Group company's debt, uh, which was about 6,500 crores, was transferred from Yes Bank to JC Flowers ARC, and now. Uh, the group has entered into a settlement agreement with JC Flowers ARC with regards to this debt, which of course was purchased at a significant discount. Uh, but we've been given to understand that the Subhash Chandra-led companies have agreed to repay about 1,500 crore rupees to settle all outstanding dues to JC Flowers over a seven-month period, with 15% having to be paid in the first 30 months and the remaining spread over the next six months. Uh, but interesting to note that while JC Flowers ARC is part of the agreement, has agreed to release the security which it holds in proportion to the repayment and that would be the real estate assets of the group, uh, shares in Zlearn, etc. But as far as the stake in DISH TV is concerned, which is at 25%, again, that was transferred to the ARC from Yes Bank as part of the larger deal, will not be released until the entire agreed amount of 1,500 crores is repaid in the next seven months. So positive from a settlement point of view, but an execution remains to be seen and until that is done, the stake in DISH TV will continue to be held by JC Flowers ARC. All right. Thanks a lot for that, uh, Ritu. Well, let's go back to Vivek. He's here to tell us about some more stocks that are on the news. Vivek? Well, that's right. You know, yesterday, a very important development as far as a very large supercritical thermal power plant is concerned. Remember, during market hours yesterday, NTPC said that they had gone ahead and approved close to 15,530 crore investment for Lara supercritical thermal power project. This particular project is in Chhattisgarh. Uh, now, BHEL is the company that has bagged the order to set up this particular power project. Uh, and this is going to be two into 800 megawatts thermal power project. Uh, while the quantum of the order itself has not been disclosed, Antique Today writes uh, that this particular order should be close to 11,000 to 12,000 crore for BHL, a significant large order as far as BHL is concerned. Next talk on our radar is RVNL. It's emerged as the lowest bidder for projects worth over 256 crores. And this particular project is for Maharashtra Metro Rail Corporation. And lastly, keep an eye out for Zentech as well. The company has received orders worth 72 crore. This is from the Defense Ministry. Remember, the company provides military training as well as anti-drone solutions. All right. Thanks a lot for that, Vivek. Let's hop across to Surbi now. She has some more stocks that are in the news this morning. Surbi, over to you. Thanks for that. So first on my radar is DreamFox. Now the company has collaborated with a leading visa service provider to offer premium lounges access and doorstep visa services. Uh, next is Nazara Tech. There's a board meet on 4th of September to consider a fundraise. And lastly, Ajanta Pharma. The US FDA has given approval for Topi Remit, a drug that is used for epilepsy and migraines. The company can launch this drug as per the settlement terms on Feb 1st, 2026 or earlier. Okay, thanks for that, Surbhi. So those are a list of stocks, but let's find out what's happening in the metal space as well. Manisha Gupta is joining in for that. Manisha, over to you. 
case of the metal prices there overnight we've seen 1 to 3% of a jump up coming across board this is because the september to october in any case are traditional strong demand months uh, seen for the metals uh, the softness in us dollar the weak economic data the us gdp expanding less also tells you that an interest rate hike perhaps is not on cards for the month of september from us and that has been supportive and the chinese cmi numbers that just came in uh, have contracted for a fifth straight month but the contraction has been lesser than previous month and lesser than the street estimate and that has been supportive as well china in any case has been doing interest rate reductions special finance bonds and the markets are taking cues from that steel in the meanwhile is trading at a three week high you have iron ore price is trading at a one month high copper and aluminum are trading at a two week highs right now so strong support across board Thanks a lot for that, Manisha. Well, let's do a quick recap of all the top stocks that we just covered for you. Let's do a quick revision. Stocks with positive news flow, they include uh, Dish TV, BHTL, RVNL, Zen Technologies, DreamFolk Spaces. You have uh, Nazara Tech, Ajanta Pharma, as well as a whole host of metal stocks that will be reacting to positive news flow. Well, a couple of them will be reacting to negative news flow. They include Sula as well as MedPlus Health. Well, those are the top 10 stocks that we're looking at, but there are some more brokerage notes that have come in. Sonal's been doing all the reading. She joins us to fill us in with a couple of them. Hey, Sonal, morning. Morning, Nigel. Well, some interesting ones at that. So let me start with the first one, which is on HCL Tech by JP Morgan. They have an underweight rating with a target of 900 rupees per share. But they say that the company believes the worst is over as pipeline is converting into deals and deals are converting to revenues. Prior test points, um, the likes of ER, ERND, the TMT sector, they have bottomed out now. So there's some positive commentary there. Other verticals should also see improving growth driving over second half of this year versus the first half. And client conversations point to zero cost transformation deals. Uh, so yes, there is some positive commentary coming in on HCL Tech and speaks about the IT sector as well. HSBC has written an asset DM where they have DM where they have downgraded the stock to hold rating targeted 337 rupees a share. Revenue growth remains strong according to them and margin in mature hospitals has improved on a YY basis. Pending restructuring is a positive, uh, but uncertainties around deal dynamics remain, and that is something which is making them a little uncomfortable. Jefferies is written on the cement sector, where they say the demand is likely to clock double-digit growth in FY24. This is for the second straight year. Growth appears to be driven across all the segments and the sectors as well. Strong capex and the housing upcycle that we are seeing were in the current decade will continue to be the growth drivers for the sector. Taking precedence from history, a sustained price war appears unlikely, according to Jefferies. Uh, they have preference for the large cap names in the sector. Okay, Sonal, thanks a lot for that. So those are a whole host of brokerage views. Let's take a short break. On the other side, Dipan Mehta of Elixir Equities will be joining in for some fundamental stock analysis. We'll also have Ashank Desai of Mastec to talk about the deal momentum and their business outlook going forward. Stay tuned.